Hi, this is Chris. I'm from WiserJoomla.com. WiserJoomla.com is a website that offers high-level video tutorials for Joomla developers and professionals, beginners and inter intermediate people. So we teach you through our website and our videos everything from the basics of how to install Joomla all the way up to how to build out a shopping cart and a Facebook-like community. And today what I'm talking about really is just a Joomla overview. What is Joomla? and who's it for and I guess the question that you're probably asking yourself is is it for you? Co uh, Joomla is a content management system and in the last eight nine years content management systems have really become the standard for a lot of web development. Uh, the White House for instance uses a content management system um, and there's many other corporate websites that do this and the reason for it is that it's a pre-built application framework and it's developed by literally hundreds of developers thousands if you really count everyone that contributes to it and it has versions which means that Joomla five years ago was probably not that great <laughs> but it's it's evolved over time and it gets better and better and better so with this content management system this application framework you essentially install it and then you've got a working website but it's kind of a, like a structure that you build into and it's extensible. It comes built in with a lot of basic core functionality like a contact form and a membership system. But you can through third party software components which are either free or cost s somewhere between 10 and maybe 100 or a couple of hundred dollars. You can really build out functionality that 10, 15 years ago, it took entire teams of software developers to build. So I'll take you through a few of the, the facts uh, of Joomla. Um, one of the things to know about Joomla is that it's free. It's an open source content management system. And it's really, it's one of the most powerful CMSs on the planet. It's used all over the world and it's used from everything from simple sort of family websites to corporate applications. It can be used for corporate intranets and um, really anything that the mind can, can dream of. And it's very manageable and it's very reliable. And it also complies with W3C standards. It uses a CSS system. It, it is tableless, and so there's, it runs no frames. It's not the fastest technology in the world. Um, it, it's based on a template system, so there are graphics, and it's not the lightest weight. Uh, but if you don't need the speediest site in the world, um, it tends to be a good choice. Now, Joomla is built on PHP, and it uses the very popular MySQL database. And so everything all of your content, all of your members, and all of your registration is stored in a database. And it's dynamically fed and generated on the fly as people click through your site. Um, basically, Joomla, just a little bit of background, it was developed in August of 2005. It was a fork from another project called Mambo, so it really goes back even further than that. And the original version of Joomla was 1.0. It, within the last year and a half, Joomla 1.5 came out. And Joomla 1.5 was a radical and a, a very um, significant update. And it corrected a lot of the problems that people had with the original 1.0. And as a matter of fact, 1.6 is coming out. And so some of the uh, items, features that are lacking from Joomla right now are going to be introduced in this new version uh, sometime in 2010-2011. Now, who is Joomla best suited for? It can be used for a corporate site, like a brochure site, or a portal, like a news portal. You can pretty much replicate the kind of thing that Huffington Post does. Uh, they use a content management system as well, uh, but it's a, a bit more sophisticated and it costs a lot of money. Um, you can use it for cor corporate intranets and extranets, online magazines, newspapers, E-commerce, there is a, another open source component called VirtuMart, which is free, which installs right inside Joomla and gives you a dynamic and a very powerful uh, shopping cart. 
and uh, there's uh, a lot of other small business nonprofit uh, community-based portals there's another plugin called Jom Social and a couple of others where you can basically have what's essentially like a Facebook application running within your Joomla site uh, a lot of schools use Joomla a lot of universities and of course just a personal home page or if you're a photographer and you want a really fancy uh, portfolio for your your images then um, Joomla is a really good choice for you I'll show you a couple of examples of sites that are used around the world that use Joomla one is uh, the Porsche site in Brazil is a Joomla site another is the Guggenheim Museum in New York City you've probably heard of that they use Joomla very effectively and one that uh, is pretty impressive is Linux.com. Linux.com uses Joomla. Now, as you know, the Linux world, they're, they could be c considered uh, some pretty high-level techno geeks, and they rely on it, and it seems to work for them. And then there's another one I would point out, which is IT Wire. These are all uh, sites, some of which have literally uh, many tens of thousands and up to a million unique visitors a month. So Joomla is extremely robust, it is uh, scalable, and it is also um, very reliable and easy to manage. And that's really the main point. Um, Joomla has a very active community. If you go to the Joomla.org site, you should visit and take a look at all of the news. There's people from all over the world and um, you know there really uh, are literally thousands of people that contribute to contribute to this software and if you add up all those hours of all that time by professional developers if you put a Joomla site up it's really worth in some respects thousands and thousands of dollars because all of that time that has gone into it up till now and that continues to go into it is for you it really helps you so I recommend that you take a look at Drupal and WordPress and some of the other uh, CMSs out there. Um, if all you want to do, for instance, is a blog, WordPress is probably the choice for you. But if you want to do more than a blog, like for instance, have a shopping cart or a Facebook style community, you might want to look at Joomla. Uh, Drupal is another one. It tends to be more of an expert level content management system. It's not as easy to use. Joomla, you can literally take um, uh, an intern out of high school or college who doesn't have a lot of technical background, and you can show them the back end, which I'll show you real quickly. Here's the back end of Joomla. You can see it's, it's a GUI, and you have all these tools that you can scroll to. You can add articles. You can assign different people uh, who work on your site different roles and coming in in the new version of Joomla 1.6 that's going to get even more granular so that you can really break apart your the types of members you have on your site so we really recommend that you take a look at Joomla there are some great sites you can go to where you can try it out and demo it and um, you can try it for yourself really at no cost and see how it works for you uh, so Take a look, go over to Joomla.com. The other thing I would point out in conclusion is that on the Joomla site, there's an extensions directory. There are 5,600 some odd unique modules, plugins, and components. These are all little software components that you install right from within Joomla within seconds. And so if you want a guestbook page or a photo gallery or any of these kinds of what used to take many many man hours to develop all of these kinds of of widgets and um, basically functionality you just go to this extensions.joomla.com and you can try them out and as I said some of them cost a little bit most of them are free and the ones that uh, come with a with a price it's it's worth it because you get support and the versions and if it's something that is really going to make you money or help you with your business it's probably worthwhile so that wraps it up for this Wiser Joomla Joomla overview. Hope it helped, and please w visit wiserjoomla.com. We would love to show you all of the uh, all of our experience and all of the things that that we've gathered up and put into our videos. So we'll see you over at wiserjoomla.com.